What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. DJ Envy is a hater, in my honest opinion. I believe that he is the, um, a, you know, the, the best version of the word simp. I typically don't want to call somebody that, but I mean, he's he's a, he's a Kevin Samuels hater. He hates anything that you know is more fair and balanced towards men and women. He's complete like a staunch feminist kind of guy. Um, but you know, he he's married to uh, this lady. They've been getting together for a long time, and obviously, she wears the pants in the relationship. The woman is Gia Casey. They've been married since two thousand and one. This guy has completely lost control of the relationship. Remember when she said she faked an orgasm for 10 years, faking it in bed? I mean, you didn't hear that? Like, I thought you guys heard that, right? So if you didn't know, that's what she said. But now, you know, this this guy was, it, it has been emasculated by her for a long time. He makes a lot of money, short guy also. So I think what happened was this poor guy was being abused. So he went and cheated on the woman. He cheated on her with, I believe, Erica Minya, which, I mean, that was a terrible decision because Erica Minya is nobody to be cheating with. But anyways, he did that, right? And ever since that time, this guy has been suffering. The wife has not necessarily really forgiven him. She has made him go on apology tours and really, really, really embarrass the guy. And I want to give you some proof of that um, because brother Jada Black pointed this out. Let me play Jada Black's clip and we'll talk about what his wife did on the vacation. But let me just kind of play this real quick. Courtesy of Jada Black, live stream. Go check him out and then we'll come back. Salute to everybody that's here. DJ, uh, DJ, uh, DJ Envy is out here getting humiliated by his wife. And you see... Guys like DJ Envy would dislike guys like me that will tell men to not get married. A lot of these women are not worth it. Because you see, ain't no woman embarrassing me like his wife is embarrassing him. It's always these married dudes or these blue pill males that wants to defend women against men who say horrible things about them, right? But men like me are not getting humiliated by our girlfriends. You know, uh, we're just not. If we haven't, you know, if you haven't, girl. You're getting embarrassed. And, and he ain't the only one. There are plenty of women who embarrass their husbands on a regular basis. I see it all the time. A lot of you married men need red pill knowledge you need to understand it it's not what you want to believe it is it's not about hate it's about waking up and understanding that your life sucks because you have allowed it to get to this point you have at some point you need to sit down with your wife and tell her listen i've done everything i can do to fix this why are we continuing with this whole apology tour? We've been doing this apology tour for years. But a lot of you men won't stand up because you know if you do, your wife will leave you and try to take everything from you. This man is at home packing his children's lunch for school while his wife is somewhere vacationing with the girls. And by the way, they're doing passport things. You know what I'm saying? Even though they claim... Something's wrong with men who take their passports and go over. At least a lot of men are not leaving their wife at home for three weeks to go on vacation. Like, who does that? Why does your wife need to go on vacation by herself? You know, this reminds me of Johnny Manziel, former NFL quarterback Johnny Manziel, right? Before, I believe, before him and his wife split, she went on a girl's trip. And next thing you know, after the girl, now the same woman I'm talking about is the baby mama of Nick Cannon. Okay. She's the, she's the, the white girl, Brie. And 
she goes on this girl's trip. Next thing you know, the, the marriage is folded. You see, guys, that's exactly what's happening to this guy. He admits that his wife is going on a vacation, all girls vacation for 20 days. Anybody seen movies like how Stella got a roof bag or what certain ladies could be possibly doing in these other places. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? This is, this is actually, in my honest opinion, what I would consider um, very bad news. And it shows that number one, the woman doesn't have any respect for you. It's what it shows me. The woman doesn't respect you at all. You're in the relationship and shout out to Billie J to Black because you feel like you owe her something in a sexless relationship. You're being completely emasculated, but you don't want to lose any money. So now the woman has it to her advantage because now she can do whatever she wants. And at the same time, you're dealing with it. It's a lot of men that go through these things, um, in my honest opinion. And I understand that men make mistakes with women. So have I. Um, I don't think that's something that men are proud of, especially if you have a woman that you really love that's really been good to you. She's been down for you. She's been great. I mean, because, you know, it's hard to find somebody loyal. But at what point do you get abused and does it stop? How longer shall we continue to make a fool out of ourselves? Like, how long? How long are we going to do this? And this is what you're seeing. You're seeing this and it is crazy. It is tumultuous that this is happening. Okay. This is, this is really, this is really, um, this is really crazy. Right. So now with this, you know, we're dealing with this whole situation and it looks bad. It looks very terrible. And you're out here hating on men and you're a, you're slave to your own relationship. You, you were mad at Kevin Samuels. You didn't want to bring him on the breakfast club. You know, you were, um, you know, you, you, you're, you're really, um, a, a, like a staunch feminist guy. And then look at you, like you're being mistreated in your own relate. Your wife doesn't even respect you. And the guys that really hate on other men are guys who are in relationships where your own woman doesn't respect you. And that's, it's, 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 it's challenging. But let me just say this. You don't stay in a relationship because you've mistreated your wife. You apologized or you accepted her apology. Then as a man, you shouldn't have to be letting your wife go anywhere for that amount of time. Never. You're my wife and you're going on a 20 day vacation, all girls trips. You're, you're divorced. Don't come back because if she can do that, even if you found her cheating, you're not going to, she knows you're not going to leave. She knows that because you're, because you're a wussy. Bruh, you're a wussy. You won't stand up for yourself. She knows you're not gonna stand up for yourself. And all to have a what, to have a wife? Is that what we're doing here? Like, we need to do this to have a wife? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I don't wanna do that to have a wife. I think that's insane. I think that is very crazy to let myself be disrespected all because I wanna, I, I wanna, no. No, I don't think so at all. And look, you're not going to play me like that. And I hope you guys do the same. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.